What's up, friends of the Good Boot? This is Money, and welcome to one of my most favorite robots in the game now, the Falcon with its maximum tankiness and Thermite. Do you remember this Spec Ops Griffin, guys? A very popular build. I made a video about it a while ago. Um, and, and basically a year ago where, <laughs> where you had a Griffin with Orkins and Aphid. This here is very similar to the Spec Ops, so I'm calling this the Spec Ops Falcon. It's glory for maximum damage output with just one heavy weapon, even locking down. And then the thermites for tactical possibilities to send rockets over cover when you know you're not in a danger. When somebody has just used his stealth jump but is hiding behind the wall, then you're gonna be like, ah, you know what, have this, boom, and he's done, right? And that's just so cool. Of course, we have the problem here. You see, I lost a huge amount of HP, just like that, like boom. That's a bug in the game that we currently have where for some reason you lose all the HP you, you gain from modules when the first hit you take. Uh, but it only happens the first time when you jump into the match with the first robot you pick. I don't know why it happens and I'm hoping they're working on it. But that shouldn't bother us too much. I'm ignoring the Orkin uh, Bulgazari right there because he's not really a threat. He's already empty. As you see, he's firing very slow. He's not really doing that much damage. The Orc Inspector was the thing I wanted to take out first, because I knew I was going to take a little bit longer for the Bulgazari here. Uh, so <laughs> let's go for the weaker dude first. And here we have a Corona Orcan um, Spectre as well. Lots of damage output, but against 700,000 health, effective health, when you're not dropping your resistance. Uh, well, it's not enough. It's not enough to kill you, right? And there would be a Vortex Aphid Griffin. And I'm walking sideways hearing his fire so I know I can dodge the shots. He already gave a perfect hit into me. But look, look at the damage output! Look at the damage output from the glory! I just three hit killed. Oh here, hold my beer. <laughs> Boom. I just three hit killed the Pursuer with one heavy weapon with a glory. Did you see that, guys? It's just insane. Let's jump up in the last possible second. That's something you'll see me do a lot. You'll see me activate my weapons, maybe fire, maybe not, and just wait, right? Wait, wait, wait until the resistance is almost back, and then I make my jump at the last possible split second so that I ju jump at my enemy in into short range combat where I can use my glory, uh, by the way, godlike, um, where I use my glory in short range combat and then. Um, God, like glasses on uh, and then of course you know have the resistance back online you know what I mean so uh, you can basically jump with your resistance look at this invader he just got four times thermite so two times two thermites and he's almost done now he's jumping at me with ultra low health remaining my weapons are suppressed so I may as well not fire at all just waiting for a second and then boom 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 I have probably the same amount of damage output almost the same amount of damage output as he has so switching to the additional weapons, whatever this is over there, half done. And then once again, I wait, wait, wait for the resistance to be back, and then I jump in the last second, right? This way, I can jump at someone, get close without having the resistance down. Because if you activate it and jump right away, you'll be flying across the air, everybody is going to target you, and you're gonna take three times as much damage, right? So, unfortunately, I'm no longer able to wear the godlike glasses because I'm getting destroyed right here uh, when I recorded this gameplay a few days ago. Um, but man, this is literally what my favorite Falcon in the game right now. It's, uh, it's just too much fun to play around with. You can force people in an early... Here, once again, you saw it here. I, I, it looks like I'm gonna be vulnerable now. I jump up, use my thermites, and then... The time is over, so now I'm back having the full resistance. And this guy was like, ah, I'm gonna jump and dodge the, the thermites, and then I'm gonna do a lot of damage to him, but then he realizes, wait a minute, his resistance is already down. So no damage done, really, right? And it's just so fun to play around with this and fool people into thinking they can deal a lot of damage to you now. There's a bit of a bug right here, look at this. I'm dealing damage, boom, hit indicator. Zero damage done, zero. And I'm like, eh? He was not very fast. And then I fire the next salvo, and while the shots are in the air, somehow the previous shots now count. Do you see the damage that we have done with the first shot? Somehow it didn't calculate right with the first shot, and when the second one was al along the way, uh, that's when it hey, uh, when the game said, oh, wait a minute, you hit him. <laughs> so what the heck was that? I don't know. War Robot, you're being weird again. <laughs> Some stuff is happening. Ever since modules came into the game, there's a large number of 
weird things happening in the game right now. I don't know. So he just used his stealth jump. We know he won't be able to stealth for a while. I'm risking taking more damage now. My Thermite, once again, hasn't done any damage to him for some weird reason. Uh, but uh, I'm getting him killed in just three shots, so I don't take too much damage right here. Jumping on whatever this is over there. Ah, oh, he just happens to dash in that moment. I hate when they do this. But one more thing that I was unable to record during, uh, or I don't have it in the video, I think, is that with the with the glory, not only do you have the one, the strongest one heavy weapon in the game, right? Avenger was pretty good too, but the 10 second reload is just a killer. So the glory does so much damage. It is insane how much damage it does. By the way, here, a completely stationary specter, not taking any damage. I don't know what was going on during this power plant map, but it was bugged as heck. A stationary griffin uh, 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 specter should have been done by these two thermites. Hasn't suffered any damage from it. I don't understand. Um, but yeah, so um, the, the, the glory is the weapon that does the highest amount of damage per second and damage per minute in the game as a single heavy weapon. It is absolutely brutal how much damage you can do with, the, with just this one heavy weapon. People are, are underestimating this all the time, and, and since you get very close with a Falcon based on your max of, uh, lo lots of HP you have, this is the ideal weapon to put on the Falcon now and just rush him, right? And also, you lock them down too. You have the chance to fire at 500 meters, lock them down, and then fire your Thermite on a stationary target. Do you know how much fun this is? This is the best thing that can happen in the game. <laughs> I love it. Right, so this is another opportunity that this build gives you. And uh, guys, I can only say here, force him into a stealth jump or whatever. Boom. See, okay, uh, never mind, it was a hover, I thought it was a specter. Um, but uh, you're jumping up, making his lock-on disappear. Now my resistance is back up, and uh, look how much, how quickly I can kill this guy with just one heavy weapon. It's so ridiculous how strong this weapon is. I'm not sure if the glory is too strong. Uh, because it also bypasses energy shields, right? But then again, heavy weapons should be strong. I want heavy weapons to be heavy weapons. So I'm not going to say the weapon is too powerful. Don't, uh, don't nerf the weapon. I want heavy weapons to be powerful. It's ridiculous that the Spectre is still the highest damaging robot in the game. Uh, because he's got four medium weapons. Uh, even though, beca just because the distance between medium and heavy isn't as strong as it should be in my opinion. Anyways, a landing uh, invader right there. Why not just use the time to send some cheap damage to him, right? Damage he can't do anything about, right? It's just free damage for me at this point. And I would have done a lot more free damage if I have if I have had the additional uh, thermite to my left. It was already broken off. So, uh, yep, jump back in. By the way, we're also having a little brawl here between an invader and uh, the uh, falcon, right? I'm not sure if the invader is fully maxed. I th maybe it is Mark II, maybe it is Mark I level 12. I would say it's probably relatively well leveled. It's probably well leveled, uh, but I can't say for sure what exact level it has. Um, but it's, I, I think it's really, really well leveled because it seems to take quite a beating before it goes down. But let's brawl. Who is the better brawler, guys? Let's make a vote here in the video. In the upper right corner, you find a vote right now. Click on it, open the tab, and click your vote and say who's going to win. Uh, or basically, let's say he will have won if I am down to 30%. Look, because he's missing 30% health, you see? 30% health is missing, and I have full. So let's say if he brings me down to around one third of my HP, then he will have won, okay? So let's make this even. So, who's going to have the better uh, uh, brawler uh, and survivability here in this brawl, okay? Make your vote, it's up here in the upper right. Let's see how it, how it happens. Don't change your vote afterwards, guys. Let's leave it as it is and say who wins, okay? Look at the damage this glory does. It's like 25,000 or so per hit. And see how fast it fires? Now he's getting me with his suppression, but... In this case, the suppression came too late. He already used the suppression before and I was able to dodge it. Thankfully, he suppressed the Mercury coming in from behind as well. So the Mercury did less damage to me because he was suppressed by the men by the uh, invader. Let's fight the invader again. If you in case you're saying, "Hey man, that was unfair. He was using his jump uh, and he didn't get you with the suppression." Okay, keep in mind though, I made him use his jump by firing the thermite. 
I believe. Anyways, let's do it again. All right, firing the thermite, and in this case, it goes as wrong for me as it can, okay? So in case you found the previous encounter unfair for him, this one is as unfair to me as it can be because he fires one halo. I fire my thermite to trigger his jump, and then I want to jump into cover. Here comes one halo shot from him. Boom, lockdown. One single shot with the halo, I'm instantly locked down. My resistance is dropped and I'm gonna take the full damage. I cannot dodge his incoming jump now because I'm locked down. And uh, although he doesn't quite make the distance with the suppression, he look how much damage he just did to me here, guys, because my, my resistance was down. Because of course, War Robots, yes, I get locked down with just one halo cell fire. Sure, I couldn't even trigger my jump. But my next Thermite hit him perfectly well right here. And he's counter healing the damage, but I'm also counter healing the damage. And uh, and so here the next brawl comes in. Both of us had been really taking a lot of damage so far, but even though I was here at health, yeah, when the battle started, and even though things got really bad, I'm now still here. And keep in mind, you cannot lose. And that's a great thing about the Falcon. You cannot lose the heavy weapon in the middle. The Falcon never loses its, media, its middle weapon. It can't happen. And that makes it so freaking good. Uh, while other robots still, you, you lose, lose their most important weapons, the Falcon does not, okay? Let's have a look at, without stopping in between at this combat one more time. And then we're gonna keep going. So here, activating Thermite, I wanted to trigger his jump. He fires one Halo, boom, instant lockdown. My Thermite, however, has done a really good damage to him. It's like a, I think, 90,000 damage, those two Thermites. He's landing another two Thermites, boom, pretty good hit. And he suffered greatly, but I did too, because my resistance was down. And now it just comes down to the bare firepower and bare resistance in the brawl at the end. Boom. Invader died. Like I said, I don't think this guy has the max modules and maybe the robot isn't fully maxed But I personally believe the Falcon has the upper hand in the battle against um, In the battle against the invader simply because uh, you have more you have t tactical possibilities too like with these additional weapons thermites for example, right? And um, we did 3.2 million damage just so on a side note 18 kills in this match so um and that's just with this just using the falcon here with thermite boom getting this guy here once again tactical possibilities you don't have with a falcon if you're not running thermites or something to just one hit one hit snack someone like this without giving him a warning look at the damage this bulwark just got like 50 percent man he had his shield down because he wanted to recharge the shield for this moment now and i'm just walking into the shield now with the speed that we have Absorbing all the damage and he realizes wait a minute man. This guy has so much health There's no way I'm ever gonna be able to beat him. So and here comes the thing Let's let's make him use a stealth jump fire jump backwards out of his range and there it is you see a pursuer just came out of it and uh, And somehow my legs were the usual leg problem where your legs are facing the wrong way And then you get you, you press the other way and he just makes these side steps instead of walking to the right it just happened to me, and that's why I took so much damage there. Uh, but normally I would have landed in safety, and I would have triggered his stealth, right? For free, without exposing myself to any danger. Let's do it again. There's a Spectre with Orcans coming. Boom. Let's force him into a stealth jump. He's got no other choice. Unless, well, he could have hidden behind the wall instead, but um, he wanted to get to me. He saw my resistance is down. He smelled the victory. But of course, I simply jumped backwards after my thermite launch. Now his stealth is gone, and I can just four or five hit kill him here in short range. Whoops, I missed because he got locked down. Boom, and there it is. He did a lot of damage still, but uh, here. We can do it again. <laughs> I, they, they just keep spawning. It's like a freaking, it's like a conveyor of enemies. A conveyor of enemies coming down this ramp. Non-stop they're coming from there. What the heck? Sending the next vortex, but I think it won't hit. Oh, it did actually hit. Look at the damage. So insane. And this, uh, if I can lock him down, that would be good here. Come on, lock down. Uh, I think he wasn't in range for the explosion. Now I lost a thermite. So at this point, I don't need to actually use my additional thermite anymore. Because I won't really have enough damage output with it anyways. And here's an invader coming in. I'm at very low health. Let's see how much damage we can do to him, okay? An invader currently doing its explosion. I purposely evaded his uh, suppression effect. Did he get me? My weapons are suppressed? What? 
At that range? Wait a minute, are you kidding me? You just suppressed me from there? Dude, that's 112 meters. You don't suppress at 112 meters? What is this? Okay. Well then, uh, I guess this is going to be a difficult battle then. I, th I thought I dodged it. I, I When I fought the battle, I thought I dodged it. But now I'm realizing, oh, wait a minute, I'm do so I am suppressed still. So now, with only 44,000 health, I can start my fight, okay? I can start the battle with only 44,000 health. Let's see how much we can make out of it. I'm trying to dodge a little bit, left and right, make it hard for him to hit me. And uh, you see, I'm bringing him down to 50%. That's already 250,000 damage done by me, 300,000 damage done. And he's still left with 100,000 health. But with only 44,000 health on the Falcon, I've just done around 400,000 damage to him. Boom. He jumps and dodges my Thermite with this. He gets me through the freaking walls again at 110 meters. What's the range on this? What is the range on this on this Falc uh, on this invader thing? I, I, I don't know if that's... Is that, ri is that real? Is that a bug or is that real? Is it really doing that much range? Jeez. Alright, anyways, let's keep going here. We have, and that's a battle I wanted to show you guys. He and him and I, we were both turning away. We were the only survivors in freefall. And he we we wanted a nice battle. So he's a really good player. He knows what he's doing, okay? So he's always trying to get me when I'm in my vulnerable mode, right? But he just used his stealth jump, so he won't be able to stealth jump right now, and that's why I know I can just jump up here, right? Let's send one set of thermites. I won't I won't hit him. I know I won't hit him. But now my resistance is back up. Now he's using his stealth jump, right? He thought maybe it's a good time to get a few... He thought I'm standing in the open. And then he realized I'm not standing in the open. Now, his stealth jump is used. I'm using my additional weapons. And he knows, okay, I could deal some damage. But at the same time, I would expose myself to the thermite. What I do, once again, I wait for the last possible moment. Do my jump in mid, in high air. And boom! Almost 100,000 damage done to this Inquisitor. Now, that was free damage for me. There wasn't really much risk that I had to take for it. And this guy is trying to be very, very careful, right? Now I'm sending the next Thermite and force his next stealth jump. He didn't want to use his stealth jump for no reason, just to dodge a few rockets. That's not what he wanted. But he had no other choice. That was his only choice. If he doesn't want to get whooped by the Thermite, he must use the stealth jump. Simple as that. And that's why I call this the Spec Ops Falcon, guys. Um, yeah, sent here. I know he got, he got no further stealth jump right now. Boom! Easy kill and easy win for me right here. Because there's nothing he could have done about this, right? He didn't want to get me in close range. He knew he was going to lose the battle if he gets... If I get too close to him. So he needed to stay at a distance. My glory is too strong for him at short range. So that's what he was doing. And uh, even the long... Even staying at long range at his 300 meters... 350 meter brawling range. Even that didn't help him. Boom. That, by the way, is a Leo. Fully maxed, I would say. That's why it took such little damage from it. Look, that's actually almost 90,000 damage that we've just done. And what he's doing here is so smart. He knew I was gonna come for him. And he has a, the strongest Leo you can have. It is three gusts and a glory. It, I mean, there, it doesn't really get any more damaging than this. The only thing to have more damage output really kind of right now, I think, is a Natasha with two glories and two gusts. That would have even more. But this is as much brawling damage output as you as you can really have. And that on a maxed out Leo with max health. And uh, we got we locked each other down and it's just brawling in the face right now. It's just throwing punches and trying to be the one making the knockout first. And in this case you saw the Falcon with 700,000 health just makes the race all the, t all the time. All the time ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, what an absolute insane fun robot. I think this may actually become my most favorite robot in the game. Maybe even before the Vortex Spectre. Because the Vortex Spectre, I've used it so much now and I love it. You know that, you know that guys. If you haven't seen the video with the Vortex Spectre, up here in the upper right corner is a video for you. Um, the Vortex Spectre is incredibly fun with this jump and the stealth and the four Vortex. But this thing here is... You can't kill it. It's just, you can't kill this thing. It's just impossible to kill with its health. And then it still has the Vortex Spectre thing inside. A little bit weaker, but still with a jump, you know? And uh, and that's just insane. I love it. It's my Spec Ops Falcon, guys. If you want to run this, uh, run it during a test server. Try it out. See if you get, you, you get along with it. And maybe it may, might be interesting for you to try and get that setup assembled.
<laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome. As always, Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye. But before I go, I want to show you something. Hold on. There is this this griffin with here, this guy. He fires his salvo and I'm like, hey man, I can do that too. Boom! <laughs> oh, this is too good. I love it. <laughs> oh man. Alright, anyways guys, see you guys around next time. Bye bye.